Hi, this is Monty from Mopart Vehicles and welcome to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that we've got in stock. This is our lovely Mercedes-Benz CLK 320 CDI Sport with only 54,500 miles with a full Mercedes-Benz service history. That's it, 54,500 miles, two owners from you. It was originally a Mercedes-Benz um, demo and then uh, a private owner has owned a car since 2009 all the way up to 2019. Fantastic service history in Mercedes-Benz. Um, recently had a gearbox oil change, uh, full service, brake fluid change, etc. If you need to know anything, just give us a call. We'll tell you all about it. So I'm going to briefly walk around the car and then give you a more detailed view uh, very shortly. Now you may notice, you may not, I'm not too sure, depends on the light. Uh, the wheels have been refurbished in a gun metal grey on the car. The colour of the car is uh, quite a rare colour, chromite black. You don't get too many of them with the basalt grey interior. So I'm going to briefly walk around the car now and give you a more detailed view very shortly. Now the reasons we tend to do these videos, it's all about trust, honesty, integrity. We try and tell you how it is. Now I've personally put about a thousand miles on this car since we've had it absolutely drives like a dream smooth power delivery no knocks bangs rattles I mean it's not going to be like your usual CLK I believe so that's only my opinion not like the usual ones that you'll see out there especially with that sort of mileage as well okay please feel free to you know if you need to ring any mercedes-benz dealers find out about any kind of service history uh please make a note of the registration number i'm not too sure what they'll tell you uh because of with data protection etc that type of thing okay so it's the sport model it's got the amg body kit amg wheels uh slightly stiffer and lower suspension on this particular car as well uh, being that it's the sport so you get slightly different brakes as well on the sport you see they're kind of drilled etc there okay now please feel free to uh, read some of my reviews on auto trader they are all genuine reviews all verified purchases we try and do our very best for our customers and I spent 14 years working for Mercedes-Benz and I know these cars inside out. And you'll see if you have a look at my website that probably 78% of my stock, uh, and I only keep about uh, 10 to a dozen cars, they'll all tend to be Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Or about 7 out of 10 tend to be a Mercedes-Benz vehicle. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll normally start on the driver's side front. Now, these aren't these videos aren't here to sort of, you know, pick holes in our cars. I think customers will understand. She is, what, 11, nearly 12 years of age, really. It'll be 12 years of age, March of next year. They know it's not going to be a brand new car. But believe me, it's not like your usual stuff that you'll see out there. There's no nasty dents and things like that. Um, yeah, I'll go through and I'll show you the car anyway. So I mentioned the alloy wheels have been refurbished in a gunmetal grey, not a really, really dark gunmetal grey. We didn't want to look at it a bit too, um, a bit too boy racerish or anything like that. Apologies out there for the boy racers amongst us. Okay, but it does. They are actually quite. They are quite dark. I don't think this picture or the camera does it any justice. Anyway, let's have a look at the front. Wheels, excuse me, excuse me if I sort of mumble a little bit. I have got a bit of a cold uh, leading up to Christmas now. Alloy wheels look absolutely fine. Centre caps have been painted the same colour. Even all the wheel bolts, we tend to take all the wheel bolts out and get them uh, painted as well. And let's try and show you down the side. I don't tend to take these videos in direct sunlight, uh, just so you can try and pick up reflections. Hopefully reflections you're picking up really good. There's no nasty digs, dents, anything like that. It's all absolutely fine. Now there are a few little stone chips here and there that we've touched up. A lot of them tend to be along the front bumper, leading edge of the bonnet, but we'll show you a couple of them. Nothing major. Let's just show you from the back to the front. Uh, Pirelli tyres on the back and I think he's got Avon tyres on the front from memory. Hopefully that all looks good. Last MOT, no advisories on it whatsoever. But to be 
be fair, I don't think there's been many advisories on this particular car throughout its life. All the door panels all look really good. Basalt grey interior, that's what it was called. It's like a dark grey interior. You've got a little bit of wear around the bolster of the seat here, but it's to be expected. Now with the AMG Sport, you tend to get these um, sort of bolster um, pump up. So what happens is the front, you can pump up the front section of the seat, uh, your um, side bolsters you can pump up, and also the lumbar in the back of the seat. They all work absolutely fine. You can see they're 54 and a half thousand miles. All genuine, all of the, if you have a look at my HPA, sorry, HPI report, it's all clear, everything is fine. Um, I've got all the service history of Mercedes-Benz, everything, um, all of the bits and pieces of the mileages, etc. Everything is all absolutely fine. Now you've got automatic headlamps for this car, folding mirrors are standard, headlamp wash, cruise control, speed limiter, you've got all your controls here for the radio, um, and all the different displays that you've got in the central binnacle. Seven speed automatic transmission, dual climate control air conditioning, and your satellite navigation. Not too sure if you can pick it up really well there. Zoom into it. Heated seats for driver and passenger. Now this car does come with, it's, it's wired or telephone pre-wired from standard from the factory. So inside the armrest, you can buy a Bluetooth module that uh, pops into there and you can connect your phone up and you can uh, have Bluetooth connectivity. Now I'm not too sure if I mentioned earlier on, these videos tend to take about 10 minutes long, uh, just so I can tell you all about the car and a bit about our warranty right at the very end. It's still got the original Mercedes-Benz reg numbers or registration plates. Car did have a private plate on it before, but uh, still it's, uh, we put the original plates back on the car. Still got your first aid kit down there. Split folding seat, so they're like a 60-40 split folding seat. Warning triangle, all still there. And underneath that section, if I undone that, you've got a, a space saver spare wheel as well. All along the back bumper, it's all really good. There's no nasty digs. You're gonna have a couple of little hairline marks along there. You can see that it's just where you've, you know, put people would have probably rested something on the back bumper. But it's to be expected. She is 12 years of age. She's not gonna be brand new. I know she's done really low mileage at 54,000. Hope you can pick up sort of tread depths. You probably won't pick up tread depths, but uh, tread on the back tires there. And again, let's just uh, zoom in and just show you. So I tend to use a, a HD camera, just so I can zoom in as best as possible, so you can try and pick up. There's no dulling of paint, it all looks really fine. Again, no use really showing you loads of the alloy wheels, even though they look stunning uh, in that gunmetal grey. They have all been refurbished. They are absolutely fine. Now let's just go and show you down this side as well. AMG front bumper. You have got a few little stone chips, but I will show them to you in a second when we get around to the front of the car. Let's just show you inside. Again, door panels all look absolutely fine. I think the radio is on, didn't realize it was. Full set of mats in the car. Hopefully that all looks good to you. You can probably just see from here that little bit of wear on the bolster. You've got the adjustable uh, seat as well, the um, lumbar support and uh, the extra uh, little uh, airbags that pump up the sides of the seats. Let's just show you the back as well. I'll be honest with you, it looks like the back hasn't actually been sat in at all. Looks in really good condition. Then you've got a couple of cup holders that pop out of there as well. That's it like that. Push that back in. Back to the seats, all look good. And then in here, you have got locking wheel nut keys and a CD changer. 
Should show you the headlining as well if you want to see the headline. It's a dark headlining. There's no nasty marks or rips in the headlining. Adjustable height seat for the driver and the passenger. You can tilt the front of the seat using that dial. A couple of little hairline scratches. Don't know if you can pick them up, get out of the way. Just along here, nothing major. Just a couple of little hairline scratches there. I thought I'd actually touch a little bit, but we can get that polished out, it's not a problem at all. It's only tiny. Don't know if you can make it out. Anyway, let's go along the front of the car. So I mentioned it's the Sport, so you've got the AMG body kit, AMG front bumper, or the AMG styling front bumper. Now a couple of little marks along the uh, leading edge at the bottom, but we've touched them up as best as possible. There's a couple along here, and one or two over there. But nothing major, really isn't anything major. Along the bonnet, there's a couple of touch-ups along there and I think one or two along here as well but really for the age of the car she is in lovely lovely condition and it drives really well um, I used to have one of these uh, well a couple of these as uh, demonstrators when I worked for Mercedes-Benz effortless power lots and lots of power you can have these chips as well from the two I think it's 221 brake horsepower up to close to sort of 300 horsepower but you've got plenty of power plenty of torque in these cars that absolutely drive lovely anyway um just to finish off i just wanted to tell you about the warranties uh all of our cars come with six months warranty we use two different companies uh we go through all the pros the cons with them I'll, we'll sit down with you spend sort of like you know 15 20 minutes explaining to you how the warranties work we don't give you a basic 250 pound warranty that's the most you can claim no we will give you a warranty that will um that'll have a limit of up to the cost price of the vehicle so whether you buy a car from us for three thousand five thousand or ten thousand pound that's the total amount that you can claim um, we took as many boxes for additional lectures like uh, emissions uh, things like uh, suspension and air conditioning so um, not just an end basic engine and gearbox warranty we'll try and give you as many extras as we possibly can it's all done on hundred percent parts and labor paid for all you pay is the first 75 pound which is like an excess fee or a diagnostics fee I think they uh, they class it with the warranty companies um, as long as a claim has been authorised, the warranty company will um, will um, will authorise all the work to be done, um, and you don't need to worry about it really. So, uh, just wanted to thank you very much for your time. We've uh, I've drabbled on now for about 13 minutes. So, if you're interested in this particular car or anything else we've got, motor park vehicles, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, send me an email, text message, etc. Uh, and when you see the car advertised on Auto Trader, it will be an attractively priced car. Uh, especially for the age, the mileage, specification, and more importantly, it's a two-owner car, guys. Last owner has owned it since 2009 up to now, so over 10 years of age. Full Mercedes-Benz service history. Gearbox oils have been changed like they should be changed. This, from memory, was done at about 30,000 miles. I can't remember. Or it's 10 years they normally get them changed as well. But we've had it all done, brake fluid change done, uh, and the last service uh, was done at Mercedes-Benz. Uh, we done a bit of extra work after that the usual stuff that normally goes wrong with these cars things like glow plug relays glow plugs they've all been changed i've been using the car it's an absolutely awesome car to drive you will not be disappointed genuinely not be disappointed so apologies i've uh, babbled on for another minute but i'm so excited about this car it's beautiful um so thank you again for your time and i hope to speak to you soon bye bye